Okay, so here we are inside finviz.com. It's an amazing website that I use very often for charting. I use to look at news, earnings reports, and there's they have also this amazing heat map around here where at a glance you can see how the various sectors and industry are performing in the current session of the, of the market. So these give you a clear idea of what is going up, what is going down, what is really in trouble, what is exploding on, on the day. The feature I want to present you today is this one, the screener. Okay, so down below here, you can see this number, 8,379 is the total number of uh, stocks and ETFs from the US market that are tracked by this service, by Finviz. And of course, there are, there are a lot. So uh, the, what the screener allow you to do is to screen and narrow down your, your search based on the criteria that you decide. So, for example, uh, the categorize the, the criteria in three different sections, uh, descriptive, fundamental, and technical. What I normally do, I select this all, where you can see all the uh, criteria on the same uh, page. Okay, and here you can start making your selections. For example, I am an option trader. So what I really need to see is only the stocks and the ETFs that are optionable. So I go here where it says option short and I select optionable. And immediately, only just with this criteria, you see that from more than 8,000 symbols, we go down to 5,368. Then, what I like to do also is select a price that is over $20, because I don't really like to sell options on stocks that are lower than 20 because they are too volatile uh, for me. Okay, so of course you may have different criteria. This is just, this is just an example and I show you uh, some of the, the criteria that I normally use. Then for example, you can select the market cap. Uh, for example, uh, you can go over, let's say, large. Maybe let's say mid over 2 billion. And here we are. We go down to 1,854. Still a lot. So it's better to find more criteria to narrow down. And the beauty here is that uh, there is a mix between fundamental and technical data. Uh, for example, here you can look at the valuation. Let's say you want to select a company that has a fair valuation. Uh, let's say under 30, the PE, so that is referred to the last 12 months, and the forward PE, that is the forecast for the next year. And so we want both of these to be below 30. And here we are. We started from more than 8,000 and now we are down to 700. So we have narrowed down from the initial universe to only less than 10%. Uh, then what else? Uh, let's say, for example, we are interested in companies that have paid dividends. So here you will find the dividend yield and we want to deal only with company that give a dividend over, let's say, 2%. And we go down to 292. Then we want to introduce maybe some, 
selection about volume because options are more liquid for uh, underlying assets that have a lot of volume. So for example, let's say here average volume. We want to go over 500k. And this brings the total to 202 symbol. Then for example, we want to look at the IPO date. And let's say we want IPO to be more than five years ago. So we want to exclude uh, companies that have been added to, ex to the exchange very recently. And you see here the difference is minimal. It excluded only four, four symbols. And then looking at the technicals, we may want to introduce, for example, stocks. Let's look at the 200 day simple moving average. We want the price to be above the 200 day simple moving average because we are looking for, for an uptrend, an overall uptrend. And finally, we may want to introduce some oversold condition. So let's say um, something that is not overbought. So with the RSI 14 on the 14 day period, that is below 60. So we are fine to look for an uptrend, uptrend but we don't want a stock that is overbought. And here we are. Now from the initial uh, 8,000 and more stocks, we are down to only 77. And that is a huge help. You can see just with a few criteria that we can decide and personalize the way we want, we narrow down to this small universe. And at this point, there is a few things we can do. First, what I like to do is to start looking at charts. So for example, here we select charts and at a glance you can start looking at the overall chart and if you want to understand more about any of the company that is listed here you just for example these may look interesting because is is an uptrend but now it's in consolidation Let's have a look at this company. And uh, you can see here more and more information. You can see the, the industry, the sector. You can see the PE, the dividend that is paid. You can see all the rating, the latest news. And down below also information, additional information about the company, okay, so you then can go back to the results of your screening and analyze the, the rest of the chart. And this way you can build a watch list of symbols that you want to follow. So here we are. This is a very simple and powerful tool that allow you to narrow down the search inside the huge universe of uh, uh, stocks and ETF trading in the US stock market. So starting from 8,000 symbol, we can narrow down to a much smaller universe that allow you to spend less time actually in, in the research. And when you have done, you have, you have done, you have created your screening criteria, what you can do if you register here for a free account, you can actually save the screen. You can do, go here and select Save Screen. I call it New Screen. Click Save. And if I go back from the beginning, so I arrive here on FinViz, go to Screener, go to my preset, 
select new screen and automatically you see these are all my criteria and if for any reason I decide to change any of these criteria maybe we don't we are not interested about the IPO date so we select any and we go to 78 maybe we want more liquidity let's say over 1 million Okay, here you see is going down to 57. And now we go to save screen. And uh, you can remove the previous one. And save this one as B. New screen. Save changes. And again to test if that is working correctly, we go to the beginning, to the home page of the, of the FinViz website, go again to Screener, select New Screen, and you see here is the new criteria with the over 1 million share. So here you have it, it's a simple, cheap, because you can get access to the free version for a limited time and uh, very straightforward so you can start from a huge universe of all or the main uh, instruments stocks and etf trading on the stock market u.s stock market and with uh, just a few clicks and selection narrow down to a much smaller universe and more importantly uh, that is fitting the criteria that you select and you can save more than one screener and apply anytime.